Hello, Nix here with another two-minute tutorial. This tutorial is on how to put an image inside of a shape to select it so that it fits inside of the shape. This is a popular technique um, and it kind of creates some really cool and dynamic compositions. I found this image of the woman here smelling the flowers and I found this on a site called Pexels. They have a lot of great royalty-free large photos to choose from. This was taken by an artist named Artem Bilyakin um, and you can get all the copyright information when you download the images from there. Um, I want to select, I've got a circle here as well. I've got a few different things I'm going to show you. I've got a circle here as well. I'm going to hold command and I'm going to click on the thumbnail here in the layer, right? See, that says layer thumbnail and you can see that little icon pops up. When I hold command on my keyboard or control if you're on a PC and I click, I just loaded up a selection of that shape. Now, I actually want everything outside that shape. I want to delete this part underneath here. So I'm going to go to select inverse, which is the opposite. Now it's everything outside of the circle. And I'm going to go and highlight the layer of the woman that I have here. From here, I could take my eraser and I could very quickly and easily erase her so that she fits within that space. This is a cool way to show beyond the borders images and then you can add to the composition and do some really neat things. Um, it doesn't just have to be a shape though. Here's another version of the woman and this is a brush stroke. This is a single um, splattery brush stroke that I found. And the cool part about this brush, brush stroke is it has varying opacities, right? One of my favorite places to go to grab brush, brushes is a site called um, Brush easy.com or brushking.eu. Those are great um, royalty free brushes to find. So I just lined it up with the woman where I wanted her to be. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to hold, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hold command and click on the thumbnail. If you're on a PC, you would hold control and click on that little thumbnail. And I loaded up the selection. I'm going to go to select inverse, which is opposite. So now this is everything behind, or I'm sorry, outside of that shape. And I'm going to go to the woman layer here. I'm going to take my eraser. And when I go to erase, um, I'm kind of erasing everything. And I'm going to be kind of selective about what I erase. I'm not going to go up here and erase these parts over there. We'll leave that out. Um, Command D or Control D will deselect. Let's move the woman above the thing. And you can see that you get some really cool effects by fitting images within shapes or even brush strokes like I've done here. Don't forget to subscribe to see other cool tutorials about how to do fun things in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.